you know what? It's actually kind of funny. Is um, this is the first time I've seen you in a comedy? <laughs> yes, I know. Well, I've done maybe very few in my career. So, what did you think? I think it was it was hilarious. So yeah. let let's ask that question that everyone always asks: Is what drew you into King Knight? Um, the script, the story. I I read. I was reading the first few pages and I thought, I, I love the humor in this. The way that Ricky wrote it seemed so straight, so there, in simple situations, there, were, there was so much humor and the absurdity of it made me laugh. But I thought there was a lot of truth to this story and a lot of great lessons done in a lighthearted way. So I was very drawn to that part of it and I'd worked with Matthew in the past on Criminal Minds and so he had reached out and Ricky reached out and I met them and we rehearsed and I was really excited to be on board to play with them. Now how familiar were you with you know this world of uh, witches or did you have to do like research or go on a retreat somehow? <laughs> <laughs> well the turnaround from the moment I got the script to filming was very short. I was I was, it was maybe a Thursday or a Friday and I was starting to film on Monday. So there wasn't time for that kind of research, but I did look into witches. I, I had a different idea about witches. And actually there was a guy on set who was an actual witch. And he said, you're a real witch. And I thought, I've done my job. If he thinks I'm a witch, he said, you're real though. You're a real witch. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. So it was one of those kind of crazy moments. He had like black hair and jeans and he was so cool and showed me all these kinds of pictures of these, um, I don't know, coven gatherings that they used to do. And so I was, I was really taken by him and that world. It was <laughs> so funny. Serendipity. Uh, so, so basically he was commenting on how how you got into that headspace of Willow was so was so real to him, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he thought that I was definitely not an actor portraying this part, but rather I was a witch. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess that's a, that's a good thing. I mean, it's one of, one of those things that uh, it portrays your acting skills that is yeah. so real. I mean, in, in its own way, it, it was it's, it was very comedic, but you know I I never been part of a witch's coven, so I wouldn't I wouldn't really know. But they're the like they're the sweetest witches. They're mm -hmm. it's all about love and kindness and care and 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 being honest. So they were good things. Good good witches. White witches. <laughs> White witches. That's right. So what was it like uh, being um, filming on this compound? I'm, I'm, Pretty sure it's pretty uh, straightforward in this case. It was beautiful. It was so stunning. Um, we were in Topanga Canyon. That's where we were shooting. I love that you called it a compound. Um, it was a house. It was someone's beautiful kind of tree house and nature all around. And there were so many cats, a lot of cats in the house, which was perfect because they're witches. Um, and it was, it felt like we were family. We were like, it felt like camp actually. Like a bunch of friends got together and they're hanging out, they're eating, they're filming something. Not that that's what you do at camp, but it just felt very intimate in that way. We were having such a good time. You never felt like you were working. So I, I had I had an amazing time. It it sound like it. It, it sounded like you you had an amazing time with those cats too. I, I guess you're a cat person. Then. <laughs> I am. I have I have a minor allergy to cats, but it was. They were really cute and funny. Also, working with Ricky, it was, he's such a great guy. He, he makes sure that the environment that you're working in is a positive one. So he, he kept everyone like very happy. He's like, that was amazing. Now we're going to do this. And he was able to get what he needed from his actors. So I thought it was just like, it was cool. It was such a great stress-free world. We were in for nine days. We filmed for nine days. Oh, that's a that's a pretty uh, fast production. So yeah, it was. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but he he took out a loan to make this movie. There were no producers really mm. involved. 
So I, I, I really admire that about him, that he is so passionate. He wanted to make this movie and the way that he wanted to make it. Now, we, we know that you've done, uh, you know, quite a few big budget projects before, mm -hmm. but, uh, but why, why do you like uh, do, doing, you know, sometimes doing like these small indie projects? Because it's not about big or small. It's really about the story you're telling. It's, it's always about the story you're telling. And it's knowing whether or not you can offer something. You know, I, if I read the character, I think that there is a universal connection to why certain characters come to me when they come. And they change my life and I hope to bring life to theirs, you know, on the screen. So it's not, it's not like, oh, sure, we are in a business, but there's something spiritual about, uh, about embodying roles, about telling stories. And this character came at a beautiful time. I was really, I don't know, looking for love. And I found that it, in a way. I'm so sorry. I'm on my laptop. It's making a lot of noise. Forgive me. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I get back to you like this? Okay, so, so she came at a beautiful time. Um, <laughs> and I love being in love on screen with Matthew. It was fun. I was, I was going to say, how, how was it uh, working alongside Matthew? I, I mean, uh, I mean he, he's, a bit, he's a very funny individual, I, I do have to admit. Yeah, he's, I didn't know Matthew that well. Oh, sorry, my laptop's just... That's like, okay. It's a ghost. Um, I didn't know him that well when we were working on Criminal Minds. I think I'd come across him at the, the uh, table read, and he was really sweet. Um, but I really got to know him working on this. And he is such a lovely human being. He's just so kind. And I think, look, look, I'll show you something. Okay. When I travel, he gave me his book, oh. Rumble Buttercup. I really love, do you know that he writes children's I did, books? I did not know yeah. that. It's, it's so cute. And he's got... His, it's just every he he wrote he drew all of these and i i love the message and the story it's very related to king knight in a lot of ways about accepting what is unique about us mm -hmm. so i learned that he's just a lovely human on this earth that's giving love and doing it through stories one that he writes like this or when he acts in and uh, yeah, I have a lot of gratitude for that. I'm I'm very positive Matthew appreciates your kind your kind messages uh, about his book and about himself. That is that is terrific. That's a, that's something I did not know about Matthew. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a gifted guy, Multi, <laughs> multifaceted. <laughs> what about the rest of the cast? I mean, uh, the rest of the cast are uh, um, a lot of them are very very funny. Is there a lot of improv? Uh, or do you guys, you know, just have, have fun at it? I, mostly it was on the page. It was whatever's written on the page, but they were so funny. I mean, they were so, so funny. And there's so much room between the lines and there were moments of improv, but everything, because Ricky has got a very clear tone of what he tells that you're going to be supported. It's like this thing my acting teacher would say, Shakespeare, when you act Shakespeare, it protects you. You, you have the rhythm to make sure that you're going to do at least a decent job. Matthew, uh, Ricky, sorry, Ricky also has that kind of writing where it's very specific. It's got a particular rhythm and the tone. And so you're going to be protected as you're acting in it. That is, that is terrific to hear. Well, one more thing before I let you go, Angela. Okay. The, 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 the funniest thing is uh, there is this, uh, long sword or the sword that uh, that is wheel, wielded around and i think you picked picked it up i mean that that's like your size is it <laughs> uh, yeah it was a really heavy sword it was a very heavy heavy sword i grew up with swords my brother used to love to collect them so it was a foreign experience <laughs> well uh, that. I was gonna. I was gonna say that that is one large intimidating story. 
<laughs> don't be on the other end of it. Okay, I, yes. I believe you. Well, Angela, it's a pleasure uh, speaking to you about this film. Hopefully we get to do this again. I'd love that. It's lovely to meet you. Hey, Talk nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Okay.